I've always been interested in thought processes and finding out what exactly were the thought processes that were used. And this is the kind of thing I did with the, with the Nobel laureates, including uh, assuring them confidentiality and uh, focusing on their, on their thinking. And uh, I didn't, this was not a, a journalistic interview where I asked a lot about family and stuff. So I was interested in how they developed primarily the, uh, the discovery for which they won the Nobel Prize or anything else, what they were working on. And that was an important thing, uh, important way to get into this. Well, I think the main thing that surprised me is how accurate uh, these uh, men and women were in, in, in uh, remembering the details of how they derived the particular discovery. I mean, in some cases, they were quite a few years before that, but yet they had it clearly, clearly in mind. And uh, they were great teachers. I, I would say that every one of them was a great teacher. They were professors, but they were great teachers as professors. And I know since I'm one myself. But uh, they were able to convey to me the, the really details of what they did in a, in a remarkably good way. They were also surprisingly modest people. I, I, that, that surprised me. I would have expected much more uh, bombast and tremendously devoted. These people, were, you would describe the work they did when they worked day and night, day and night, for weeks until they came to the discovery. They were devoted to the learning of that, of that particular issue, that discovery.